Hello everyone, my name is Winters, and welcome back to this Let's Play series of Star Trek Online. For this episode, we are going to continue on with the main story arc, and our next episode, or our next mission, is Keep Your Enemies Closer. So let's get our mission brief. Valiant warriors are being held by the Federation. The Federation's idea of mercy is to allow our soldiers to rot in a cell instead of seeking an honorable death. I spit upon their mercy. We are Klingon. I will allow you to attempt to rescue your fellow warriors from their terrible fate. But you will need cunning to do so. The Federation penal colony is highly guarded. Only Starfleet vessels may approach. But I know where you can acquire a Starfleet runabout. If you are up to the challenge. Okay, so that's our mission brief. Um, nothing too spectacular, really, from this uh, mission in terms of rewards. The warp core is probably the most interesting thing with the sector speed boost and the uh, trans warp um, uh, modifier on it as well. Um, right, let's accept that. Serve the Empire. And we'll jump in and begin the mission. Right, so let's get sorted for battle. Uh, basically what we have to do here is punch a hole through the enemy lines. Um, so we'll just uh, move forward a little bit and we'll start opening up on these Federation ships. Gotta love being fire at will. Closer. Uh, those, yeah, those frigates are closer. So let's jump in a little bit and unleash hell. Right, so I think we've actually punched a hole through the enemy lines, um, but because there's a few ships engaging us here, uh, the pop-up isn't showing for us, but now that we've uh, destroyed all the immediate vessels, or, or the vessels in the immediate area, I think... No, perhaps, maybe? No? Okay, I guess not. We're gonna have to blow up some more ships. Aha! No way, there we are. Just a little bit of a delay in the server.
Right, so we have to disable tractor beam. We're going for a bit of a run. right up here, which will be this one. Enemies behind us. Where's the enemies behind us? Excellent. Bloody madness. Okay, moving on. security measures it seems and if I remember correctly this mission um, there's it's leading on to quite a bit of um, not combat but um, th there's stuff with a runabout actually wait he said it in the mission brief didn't he I know how you can get a runabout yeah um, so there's a little trick to this you you'll see later once we get there um, it, it's not much point talking about it now uh, when it's coming up in a few minutes. It's either coming up in a few minutes or it's coming up in the next episode. One of the two, I can't remember which. I think it's in a few minutes' time. Okay, bypass security measures. Now we have to find a runabout. Those guys run into the mines. I have no problem with that at all. And we're probably coming up on the shuttle bay. We're getting close to us, at least, anyway. Yep, shuttle bay. Perfect. Um, let's start deploying our turrets and quantum launchers and all the other good stuff. one of the reasons why I love playing engineers. There's just so much crap you can lay down that really, really makes ground combat so much easier um, and why I find engineers so much fun to play. to, what is it, disable docking locks. Enemy 
I don't even think I have a cannibal triple on this guy, do I? Uh, no, I don't. I need to get my hands on a cannibal triple. So if I haven't mentioned it already, um, and if, in case you don't already know, there are uh, tribbles in game. Uh, tribbles are these little dudes here. See, that's a tribble, uh, and there's many, many varieties of tribbles. Now, you should know that if you have a tribble and leave any bit of food beside it, it is going to eat and it is going to multiply, and that can turn into a crap ton of problems very very quickly because that trouble will eat that food then you have two tribbles and let's say you have two more batches of food okay then those two tribbles will eat the two batches of food and turn into four tribbles and then it just keeps on compounding like that uh, but there is a cannibal tribble that you can actually pick up and as you might have guessed a cannibal tribble will actually eat other tribbles they will eat common and uncommon tribbles. They will not eat rare or very rare tribbles. Um, they do not eat normal food. Uh, like I said, uh, they eat other tribbles. So you can feel safe in keeping a cannibal tribble in your inventory at all times to try and combat any other tribbles that you might pick up along the way. Um, most of us, and I know it certainly happened to me, when I started playing, I picked up a triple and I wasn't paying attention. And once an hour, every hour, um, I was getting m multiple triples. And uh, man, it caused like my inventory was full of triples. I had like you know twenty triples in my inventory, and um, I didn't realize it was like holy Hannah, where did these all come from? And uh, then I uh, realized once an hour. Um, the triples eat food and they multiply and after that then I, I made it a rule to always uh, have a cannibal triple in my inventory but anyway right at this stage of the mission um, you can try and sneak in uh, past these guys um, we might try it here in a minute but it, it doesn't really work or at least it's never worked for me anyway um, so th th there's a fair bit of combat and because you're in a freaking shuffle. Um, this particular stage takes forever. Uh, once we finish with this stage and, and uh, come back out after docking with the station, uh, there's another uh, portion of the mission, obviously. Um, and uh, you can actually skip past um, all of the combat. If, if, you're, if you're quick, you have to be quick. Uh, and you need a little bit of luck on your side as well. See what I mean? Look, I mean, these ships just start engaging you. Um, that on there. Job, we have miracle worker. Okay, he is nearly taken care of. Wonderful. Okay, now we get back on track. We'll try and avoid combat at all times if we can, but once we interact with these security beacon doohickey thingy the bobs, um, the ships are most likely going to engage us anyway. And there's nothing we can do about that. Um, so let's see here now. We start disabling, and does the ship fire on us? Nothing so far. Okay, let's count ourselves lucky. Quickly move on to the next one. Whatever you're up. 
Ah, I thought we were going to get lucky. that final one. It was this one down here, wasn't it? If I remember correctly. Yeah, security beacon four. So let's move in. And we beam down. Excellent. Right. Uh, wasn't as bad as it could have. Uh, believe me, I've been in there and I've been um, hit up every single beacon that... Um, I interact with and uh, you, you know, you're stuck there for like 15 maybe 20 minutes definitely 15 minutes anyway um, and because you're in a shuttle like, you, you can't do any good damage in a shuttle um, yeah anyway look at it is what it is Okay, now we are going moving on to the section where we start freeing prisoners. Um, Enemy targets gone. Gotta love mines. Oh man, they're so good. Okay, now we're going to go down here to the right. We're going to turn left. And we're going to take another right. And we're going to start setting up turrets. Because there's a bunch of enemies here. And while my boss and the enemies are busy with all that crap, I am going to start freeing some prisoners. Where are you? There you are. And... Enemy targets on center. Here. As the prisoners freed, now we have to do what? Disable force fields around Shuttle Bay. Okay. And those prisoners are actually helping us now in combat as well, which is uh, kind of cool. Some extra hands or bodies. Oh, 
pick up the loot. Always. Okay, now we have to get to the shuttle base. So this is the part I was telling you about, uh, you know, when we leave the station. Um, so, uh, basically we're just going to fight our way back to the shuttle bay. And um, if we're quick, and if we have a little bit of luck, uh, this next part is going to be very short. But if we have no luck, and if we are not quick, uh, there is going to be uh, a lot of combat. And it's going to be a pain in the freaking arse. Believe me. Um, right, let's drop some turrets here. So we just make our way over to the shuttle. Okay. Now, kick into full impulse straight away. And we're going to try and slip past all these ships. Look at the minimap. They're freaking everywhere. And yes, we got lucky. We got lucky. Um, so if we didn't haul ass basically straight away, um, we would have had to end up fighting every single one of those um, enemy ships. And not all of them are shuttles. Some of them are starships. And it is a pain. It is a huge pain. So you need to be on the ball as soon as you get there. You need to haul ass and get out uh, to meet your your um, ship, N not your ship, but your um, you know uh, an allied ship, basically. Uh, anyway, let's uh, turn this mission in and get you debriefed. have made a name for yourself in the Klingon Empire, and I am sure that I will hear more songs sung about your glorious victories. Those warriors owe you their lives and their honor, and your empire owes you a debt of gratitude. Good stuff. Um, yeah, nothing uh, fantastic from this mission. Uh, just you know, some nice bits. Anyway, well, uh, we accept that. We'll cancel this. We're not going to move on to that mission just yet. Uh, we are going to leave it there for now. Uh, thanks a million for watching, folks. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. My name is Winters, and I'll catch you next time. So until then. Take care.